Hey guys, and welcome to one of my Minecraft Hunger Games. This is a different Hunger Game than usual because there is no looting. You have to build your own things and try and survive off stuff that you build. So it's definitely a lot more challenging. Today I'm going to be talking with you guys about strategy. Well, for at least this type of game mode. The strategy that I find to be most useful is to gather as like much wood from one tree as possible and then bury myself underground so that way I'm able to build stuff like I'll build a pickaxe and then I'll dig stone and build a stone sword and then I wait for at least a couple people to die and then I would pop up and start going after people or trying to survive till I'm the last one alive and just end up waiting around sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it all really depends as you can see right now I'm just getting all my wood planks and then I'm gonna build my crafting table because that's how you would be able to make the stuff and I guess in this video I really didn't plan like I usually do with just burying myself underground and making sure I stay safe and no one comes to destroy my crafting table which I think someone ends up doing in this video yeah I think it's this dude that's coming up right there yeah he ends up destroying it because he's a freaking douchebag he tries to take all my stuff because he's a fucking dick and I end up burying myself now I think no I just end up doing it over here I ended up burying myself in this one, but I guess it's in other videos. And I get, and I just make tons of wood swords, and I just stick with these and destroy the crafting table so no one else can use it. So I just stick with wood swords, going after people. Invincibility, as you can see in the left corner, we're invincible for two minutes, so that way we can have time to build stuff, so no one kills us while we're building, which I f find to be an advantage for this. So that way. No one like builds a wood sword right away and then kills everyone. Cause that'd be kind of unfair. And as you can see, there's this dude who's trying to do a strategy of putting himself where no one can usually hit him. Like they would have to get close, but then he'll end up hitting them. As you can see, I'm almost all over there and I couldn't hit him, but then he's able to hit me as I try and build my way to him. That way I can actually get to him. I feel like, yeah. As I can see that he has no sword, so I figured it'd be easy. But nope, he's able to hit me. And I also have no armor, so I really don't want to waste my time getting hit, because that would suck if I ended up dying. I eventually just leave, leave, him, uh, leave and let him do his own thing. He ends up dying, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I end up losing him later on in the video. And actually in this video, it's very strange how I died. I've never seen it happen to anyone when they play this game mode before, or any Hunger Games. You'll see what I mean by when it comes, which would be in a, about two minutes, no, three minutes. Sorry, I was reading it wrong. And I'm sorry, that, and I will be doing more Hunger Games, and most of them will be live. It just depends if I feel like recording at that time or not. And I'm almost dead here anyways. Oh, I know, and everyone's asking... You can see tons of people are dying and talking about other people in the chat. Which I probably will end up turning off the chat for any more of these because the chat kind of does get annoying. And I see that's usually what people do when they play this is to turn off the chat. But as I was saying, this is my first one, so, you know, let's be nice here. Or if you have any criticize, criticism, I will gladly take it and work with it to do better for other videos. And if you haven't noticed yet, my friend or partner Molly Mari is in here. She wasn't able to be here for this video today. She also doesn't have Minecraft, so she wouldn't be in here anyways. Like in the game. So right, I guess it's my first solo commentary. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. See, I'm already messing up words. But, you know, as I move along, I'll be able to do better and get better ones. And do better job at doing and the video is going to end in about two minutes which is horrible it's saddening but I do eventually die but I think I did good for my first time survived longer than most people with barely any tools just using wooden swords I don't know why I built four of them I just figured you know just in case if I find a lot of people and I actually kill them but in this video I don't think I actually end up killing anyone it came close to like that last dude I could have killed. And I think um I might end up coming close to kill someone. 
And then there's lightning hanging the ground to let us know where people are, but it ends up setting the ground on fire. And this was actually a large map, it's not just like one little section in a dome, it's the whole entire map. It's not the best hangar games out there, but it will do. If you guys have any more, like hangar game, I'll gladly take the IP and try them out, see if I like them or not. And this is the dude that I end up. No, there's Captain Jedi. Nope, never mind. Spider Jedi. But that's not him, it's just green skin, so it'll look the same. But this video is going to end in about 45 seconds. So I'll just let you guys know that I am extremely nervous, actually. <laughs> and that Mari is sorry that she could not be here, but she does have a crazy and wild party story to tell you guys for another video. But that is for another day. It's probably either going to be on another Home Games or a Let's Play that I'm coming out with soon. But And I end up dying here about five seconds. It's very, very sad. I ended up dying. See, the lightning just hit me. I caught on fire. Oh god. Oh god, fall in the water, save me. And then I die. It is very saddening. I'm sorry that I had to die that way. It just had to be that way. It's very sad. Um. Uh.